Welcome back, Chuggalos. You know what day it is. Or maybe you don't. Because I don't know what day it is anymore. Day 12. Twelve. 12. C-H-W-E-L-V. 12. Of the Brew Crew Christmas Advent Calendar Mallard Edition. This is the duck episode. Shout out to ducks and geese. Why? Because. Because why not? Today we have Derive Brewing Company. Lost Letterman. Le- Leatherman? Letterman? I always call it Letterman. Fuck it. A English Dark Mild. Really cool can art. It's a uh, Edward Scissor Hands, Edward Motherman Hands, I guess you'd say. If you'd like to hear a lot of our thoughts on uh, Derive Brewing Company, you can listen to the episode JT and I had, uh, where we publicly shame two of the main employees of of the owners, even. Or who we assume to be the owners of Derive. Um, which, if you want to come on the, on the podcast um, and make fun of us, yeah, hell yeah. Um, email the guys, the dudes. Um, and we'll go from there. Lost Leatherman. Is English Dark Mild. Kind of seems like an oxymoron. Brewed with premium English roasted malts. Let's get into it. Three, two, and one. See how much I got that all over my fucking computer. Hell yeah. Seems really fizzy for the for a dark mild, for an English mild. Very roasty, very um, interesting. That kind of burnt malty flavor, uh, that premium English malt flavor. God. This one rings in at... 4.2% 4.2% ABV. Another can, pint can. Uh, shout out. Um, that's that's a lot of that. Dark milds or English milds. Excuse me. I, I'm gonna keep saying that. I probably will. You could you could play a drinking game separately from this current drinking game, where every time I just mispronounce something or uh, a Freudian slip sort of a thing happens. You'd be drunk by episode two. And I'm not sorry for that. This English mild getting a lot of I'm getting the I'm getting a coffee flavor entirely possible that I uh, I'm just making that up because of because of the fact that it's just roasty that is certainly the premium uh, premium thing very interesting uh, photo here. Uh, due to rising bank fees, non-cash payments will have a 3.5 non-cash adjustment on the receipt. Pay with cash and save. So a little bit of a little bit of a deal there. Uh, and let's uh, you know I mentioned it in the I mentioned it in the last episode with derive. 
uh, which truly I did not expect it to be derived two days or right day nine to day 12 three days excuse me uh, math is not my uh, premium skill set let's put it that way I did not put my attributes into mathematics uh, there you go you take a shot you would have taken a shot right there uh, hell but we'll talk about let's talk about the kitchen let's talk about the restaurant derive kitchen uh, seems to have burgers and pizza which it seems so they offer a smashed burger which in my humble opinion as a burger eating man a smash burger or a uh, or an onion an onion smash burger is like creme de la creme top tier cheeseburger uh just something that just just white onions burger just smell so when you when i say smash burger think of um steak and shake think of what um if you're in the Dayton area, think of what Jollity is doing with their whole Koji Burger pop-up, uh, continuing line of pop-ups. Um, who else does a good smash burger? Think of um, the Burger Scholar, the man himself, the Lord of Burgers, uh, George Motes, uh, whom I respect uh, and hold to a possibly the highest standard of cheeseburger. Um, wisdom a man is a saint uh, I have one of his cookbooks so, uh, somewhere in there but this isn't the burger podcast this is not the cheeseburger eating contest podcast this is the brew crew Christmas advent calendar podcast where we drink the beer that has been chosen for us by Spill. So let's get another swing. It's very roasty. Uh, uh, English mild is certainly something that I would have not chosen. Uh, in a lineup it is not a not a style I would be fond of not a style I'm typically fond of reason being that roasty flavor is almost always a little bit more um, excuse me it has it usually is a bit more um, roasty or bitter multi kind of situation a little bit more than I necessarily like almost like when you get into that very overly roasted uh bitter sour or excuse me bitter stout you would have taken another shot i'm sorry uh no regrets and for number two it's just it's just always a low abv four uh, percent I could drink a bush light I could drink something else that's not to knock on derive I feel like an English mild is like a very traditional it's like a very traditional beer that's not German purity laws that's not an Ode Ota Kringer or some shit like that so it's not I don't know I just think it's 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 a it's this is this is completely made up but in my mind this is the this is the session like journeyman beer like you have one of these in your lunchbox while you're building a highway i don't even know if that's what a journeyman does but fuck i'm just it's just what my mind's eye believes it to be this is a very like 1800s 
uh, everyday man lunch beer. And I'm sticking to it. And Sphil can tell me I'm wrong, and I'll still love him for it. Um, give me a couple more swigs here. I'll make a. I'll get a. I'll get to a price. Or I'll get to a score. You'd be fucked up just on this episode. I'm sorry. I'm. I don't have an excuse. Um, well, some, one thing I will say that I have noticed, I've had Derived's menu just sitting here. I really got off on a tangent about Smash Burgers, and I kind of just, I was like, yep, that's cool. I appreciate that. Um, they have a pizza, and a pizza, it's called the Gabagool. Pepperoni, Capicola, mozzarella, red pepper, and banana peppers? Um, there is, there's, there's an Anthony Bourdain quote that's something like, uh, every day I fight myself to not, like, this is all paraphrasing, but every day I fight myself not to, like, just lay in bed and eat like shit, and that's, I, yeah, like, if I had the opportunity to, I would just eat like like crap every day because it would always taste good. It would always taste so good. But alas, I uh, I don't know. I'm just trying not to do that. Either way, screw it. It kind of cycles through some photos too. The pizzas look pretty good. The beers look pretty good. Um, it does include some of the photos of the employees, so uh, if you are one of those people that stumbled across these videos, uh, I apologize. I have nothing else to say. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Derive Lost Leatherman. I, I. I want to dislike it, and that's a silly thing to say. I can taste the. There's obviously some some serious character put into this. Obviously some some real thought and effort and. That matters to me. Like, however, this is not something I. I'm having a hard time even probably having a hard time even gonna finish this. The stout that we had leaps and bounds better than this beer. This, I, I do not see myself finishing. Not because I hate derive, not because I hate English English milds. Just this one is an English this this to me is an English mild like cranked up to eleven. This is like English mild. And to if my memory's correct, if my memory um, isn't completely going out on me at twenty six. I want to say we had an English mild last year. And truth be told, I don't think I scored that one very highly either. Um, I'm going to say this one, Derive Lost Leatherman, with the cool-ass Edward Scissorhands artwork. This is a 2.5. Uh... Yeah, I just I'm sticking to it. 2.5. I'm gonna write it down because I'm really bad at remembering my scores. It's 
it's just it's too it's too roasty it's too it's it's so it's just so strong for a 4.2 percent and that um doesn't make sense in my brain in my smooth brain that doesn't make sense to me Again, if you're from Derive, come on the pod. Explain to me why I'm dumb for not liking this beer. Please. I want to know why. I want to like it. They see, This place seems like a really cool spot. I want to enjoy this beer. Uh, it's just not it for me. And I'm sorry. But uh, no regrets, as always. Smash that fucking like button. Smash the subscribe Share with your friends. Share with your dog. Share with your enemies. Thank you for being you. Uh, stay cool. Stay ten toes. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that phrase means, but I think it's cool. As always, I love you. Kisses. Bye. Merry Christmas. Love you.